Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach. And I'm Owen. It's National Civic Pride Day, International Accounting Day, National Vanilla Cupcake Day, and National Forget-Me-Not Day. Let's get to today's announcements. As you know, we have no school tomorrow for Veterans Day. Veterans Day was originally created in 1918 as an armistice day to mark the end of the World War I on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. In 1954, it was amended to include all veterans, and that remains that way to this day. If you know or are related to or just see any veterans tomorrow, thank them for their service. National Honor Society members, there is an NHS meeting right after school from 2.30 to 3 p.m. in the library. If you are unable to attend the meeting, please reach out to Mrs. Ditto. Attention all juniors, our school is participating in the District Student Health Survey next Tuesday. The survey is meant to gather information about health risk behaviors of students in the 11th grade. The survey includes questions about student health and safety, student mental health and behavioral health and student climate and culture. If you do not wish to participate, you must turn in a signed opt-out form. The forms are in the library with Mr. Schmoody. Are you looking for some awesome job opportunities in the STEM fields? The Central Oregon Skills Trades Fair is coming up at the fairgrounds on November 18th, and Ridgeview is taking people. Get your permission slips from CTE teachers, then return them to Kate and the CCC to go. Winter sports start on Monday. This is the last weekend to make sure all family ID information is correct as we head into tryouts on Monday afternoon. You will not be allowed to try out if you have done, unless you have done all family ID requirements. And now here's an announcement about an opportunity for juniors. Hey Ravens, I'm Erica Capson and I'm here to share about a cool opportunity that two juniors have to go on a free trip to Washington, D.C. The only thing you need to know is what power company you have. Juniors, if you have Central Electric Co-op as your power company, then you are eligible to apply for this scholarship. This scholarship, known as Youth Tour, is an amazing opportunity. I applied for it last year and got to see so many new things when I was selected to go. I saw many national monuments, such as Arlington National Cemetery, the Holocaust Museum, the Smithsonian, and the Capitol Building, where I even met one of Oregon's congressmen. At the Youth Tour National Convention, I met students my age from multiple states. In addition to this, I was selected as the Oregon State Representative for the Youth Leadership Council for Central for Electric Cooperatives National Committee. As the state rep, I have the opportunity to connect the youth of Oregon to electric cooperatives. So if you are a junior and your family has a membership with Central Electric Cooperatives, please reach out to me or Kate Sully's for applying. If you have any questions at all about the trip and what it includes, feel free to ask me. Additionally, freshmen and sophomores, this is an opportunity for you too. When you become juniors, so stay tuned for information in future years. Last of all, seniors, Central Electric Co-op will have a representative here sometime in the next few weeks in the College and Career Center. They will be here to talk about career opportunities. Whether it's accounting or technology or as a lineman, they will cover it all. Juniors who have questions about youth tour can also get them answered by the representative. If you're interested at all in coming to this, then please reach out to Kate Sully's or me. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. And that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ridgeview Ravens. I'm Owen. And I'm Zach. Have an epic day. Stay safe and stay classy.